In today's class, we will learn how to stand up more straight. And to this effect, we will lie down on our belly. So please let us begin. And as most always, take your time to arrive in this starting position on your front side, on the belly. Mm. Turn your head to either side, have your arms up or down, any way that is comfortable to you. And sink closer and closer towards the floor. Make contact with the floor. Come to rest on, on your mat or on your bed, wherever it is you're resting, but fall deeper and deeper. So you can feel your contact with the floor. Where do you touch the floor? the most, the hardest? Does your head, your face, your nose, your chin press down on the floor the hardest? Or is it your pelvis? Is it your knees? Your shoulder tips, your arms? Where do you feel you're pressing down the most? And Feel, feel the floor and uh, feel yourself. Feel how you breathe, how you breathe against the floor. When you breathe in, feel where do you press more against the floor. And when you breathe out, See where does the pressure against the floor becomes a little less, a little lighter. And then as a first movement, press with your chest. Try to press with the chest more against the floor. <laughs> that rhymes. Press with your chest more against the floor. So how would you even do that? How do you, how do you press with your chest bone maybe? Or which place in your chest did you choose? Is it closer to your throat? The place you press more against the floor? Or is it closer to your navel, to your belly button? Were you pressed against the floor or did you choose to press with your pelvis more against the floor? With the lowest end of your pelvis or with maybe with one side where your hip joints are? Which area, which areas can you press against the floor? So try to find a point in the middle of your chest. the middle part of your chest try to press it more against the floor and how do you how do you feel that with your chest how do you feel this pressing this pressure building up stronger when you press more against the floor and when you release again how do you perceive this pressure your your skin is being pressed a little bit flat and there's sensor, your skin is sensitive on your front side you can, when there's pressure in your skin in your flesh you can feel that and then let go again and move that point of contact a little bit further up towards your throat how far up can you press with your chest against the floor or when does it become more uncomfortable 
and then move this point of pressing against the floor a little bit more down onto your belly and see if you can differentiate these places, if you can press yourself to the floor with your belly or with your chest, with your belly or with your chest or a little bit with your right breast or with your right chest or more with the left chest or more towards the left shoulder or maybe you feel the pressure in your knee, maybe you press more with the knee but when you press with a knee, for example with your right knee, then maybe your hip lifts up and observe that, investigate that a little bit. When you press down with one part, maybe another part comes up. And allow yourself to make your own discoveries. So I don't want to go too structured through this lesson, like press down your left knee and then see what your right hip joint is doing and then roll more. There. No, make your own discoveries. Take, take, take a little bit of time to press and to stop pressing and just feel yes feel what it does what what you discover allow yourself to sense and to feel and to discover this peculiar thing of pressing against the floor with your chest And maybe you have discovered you can press stronger and lighter or in different places or with different patterns, press down fast or press down very slowly and release very slowly. And then see if you press with your chest against the floor, if you press more and more, maybe your head starts to lift off the floor. When you press down with your chest against the floor, the more you press down, maybe the more your head is lifting off the floor. And once your head is off the floor, just bring it back down again, so stop pressing against the floor and come to rest again. And, and see when you press with your pelvis against the floor, the front part of your pelvis, when you press it against the floor, maybe you discover that your legs lift instead of your head because you're pressing your pelvis against the floor. Maybe if you just press your right hip joint against the floor, maybe your right leg comes, your right knee comes a little bit off the floor. And when you press with your left hip joint, the left part of your pelvis against the floor, maybe your left leg comes off the floor a little bit. And if you press with the upper part of your chest, when you press more and more and more against the floor, maybe your head comes off the floor. And once your head is off the floor, maybe turn your head around to <laughs> put your head in a different position. Or if you had your head turned to the right, maybe you want to rest your head turned to the left. Or the other way around. But start by pressing down your chest against the floor to make your head float up. So when you press your chest against the floor, or is it is it the middle part of your chest? Which part of your chest do you have to press against the floor? Or maybe your pelvis and then your chest to lift up your head and then be able to, in your own time, gently without any hesitation, just as it comes, as it appears, 
<laughs> as it wants to be turned, or maybe one leg wants to be lift, lifted, or moved, or, or, or placed somewhere else, a little bit to the back, or a little bit more to the front, or to the side. And allow yourself to relax into this movement exploration. Press a little bit and stop pressing a little bit. And then we will take a, a rest on the back. So please, if you have the mind for that, to turn around on your back and take a rest on your back and just feel how it is to press against the floor with your back and then don't press it all, just float on the floor just see how, how it is, you're carried by the floor And now when you breathe in, there's no floor to press against in the front. You breathe against the room, so maybe your breathing is a little bit easier. Even just after these few movements, this very short exploration. And you can feel, ah, there's no floor in front of you when you're lying on your back. And you can just breathe in. <laughs> Nobody is stopping you. It's just your own chest and your own lungs. All right, then return on to the front side. We will continue. And now the second time you're on the front side, you're arriving on the front side, see how it is. Maybe you're already a little bit more friends today in this session with the floor. And have your arms down alongside your torso, your right hand next to your right pocket, uh, pelvis, hip joint, and your left hand next to your left hip joint. And feel how your arms are lying on the floor, maybe with your palms pointing or turned towards the ceiling. And the back side of your hands is on the floor, so you can feel, you can feel the floor with the back side of your hands and you can feel your arms, your lower arms on the floor and maybe your upper arms, your chest on the floor and start to bring your attention towards your right hand, the back of your right hand and slide your right hand a little bit down towards your right foot on the floor and then pull it back up again. So you're sliding or rubbing a slow, very slow rub of the back of your right hand downwards towards your right foot as far as it moves and up again. So you, actually your whole, your entire right arm is sliding downwards towards your feet and up again. So Maybe close your eyes and just feel how your right arm is sliding. So you're moving your right arm, of course, but focus on the feeling of sliding. So maybe you can, in your mind's eye, have the tip of your right shoulder coming closer towards your face and the tip of your right shoulder moving away from your face. And when your tip of your right shoulder is moving away, downwards towards your right foot, allow your head to roll a little bit. And see, if you have your head turned to the right, how is the sliding of your right arm affecting 
your head? Can your right arm drag your head along? Or you could turn your head to the left, so press with your chest against the floor to turn your head around. So you press with your chest like before. That's something we learned. So that's a class. You learn to turn your head by pressing your chest against the floor. So the head will come up and then turn the head so your head is turned to the left. And then slide your right arm up and down. And maybe that doesn't roll the head so much. So start to bring your attention to your left arm, to the back of your hand, your left hand. And start to slide your left hand downwards towards your left foot. And feel that sliding and rubbing against the floor on your lower left arm and maybe on your left shoulder and maybe in your mind's eye you have the left shoulder tip and see yes and see and continue and explore and feel how the left arm is connected to the right and how the head in between the arms is affected by the movements of the arm so maybe when you slide your left hand down you can also or maybe itself the right hand is sliding away from your right foot while your left hand is sliding down towards your left foot or maybe if you have your head resting on your chin or your mouth the head can roll from side to side Maybe your chest can slide. What is this movement that is emerging from these very loose instructions? So your arms slide on the floor. You feel the floor. Or maybe you want to put your palms down on the floor. Maybe that's something you discovered. Or how do, do you want your arms to touch the floor? Do you want to bend your knees? Where does this movement lead? A sliding of the arms on the floor. Maybe they take hold of your head and your pelvis and your knees and, and this movement starts to affect your entire self, everything. Maybe everything starts to move or maybe not. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a very small sliding of your right hand. And then slow it down, slow it down, soften it down until you come to rest on your front side. Just rest on your front side. Feel how you rest on your front side. Feel where you have contact with the floor, where you lean against the floor. Is it your chest? Is it your belly? Is it your pelvis, your knees? Is your face pressing as hard as in the beginning? Or are you floating more on the floor? How do you breathe against the floor? Maybe it's not so much restricted anymore. Maybe when you breathe with your chest, you notice, oh, actually you can also, <laughs> maybe the chest can also breathe towards the back. Maybe the front and the back, they're not so different suddenly anymore. And then turn around and take a rest on your back. Come to take, if you're up to that, 
to take a rest on your back and feel how it is how is it now how do you float rest where do you have contact with the floor now on the back And then we will turn around one last time. It's more often than a pancake. Turn around to come onto your front side one last time, please. And when you arrive on your front side, feel how it is now, the third time in this session, how you arrive on your front side, how you feel your contact with the floor and start to press your chest against the floor see how you build this pressure of pressing against the floor and at the same time allow your hands to slide downwards towards your feet or your right hand towards your right foot and your left hand towards your left foot when you press with your chest against the floor. So have your arms alongside your torso downwards and when you press with your chest against the floor slide your arms downwards towards your feet and see where is this point of pressure. Is it more in the middle of your chest or do you prefer a side of the chest and, and see how this pressure point where you lean against, your leaning point against the floor travels from the top of your chest more to the middle of your chest towards your belly and how your head is lifted when you press when you press your chest against the floor and when you stop pressing your chest against the floor gently your head comes down again and I cannot instruct you too precisely. There's so much room, wiggle, wiggle room for your own discoveries and for, for discovering your own precision from a general lesson of pressing your chest against the floor, which will lift the head, which of course will activate your back extensors and lift the head little by little. Look up with your eyes towards the horizon or maybe even the the ceiling while after you press with your chest or your belly against the floor. So the pressing against the floor comes first, the contact with the floor. It's the floor you can feel, it's your skin you can feel and then little by little you can add everything else. Maybe even a little rolling what do you do? What do you prefer to do with your legs when you press your chest? <laughs> That's how we learned this first as a baby when we had time, when we had generous parents who gave us enough time. But now as grown-ups, we give us our own time. We can decide, I will take half an hour to just explore this movement, pressing the chest against the floor and how this lifts the head. <laughs> and what you can do with that idea of pressing your chest against the floor and what will come from it? What, what will you invent? We value these discoveries and inventions like that's look, look there's something I, I have found. I can lean against my left shoulder and turn a little bit. That's something I have found. That's so cool. I love it. It feels so nice and I can do so many things with that. <laughs> But let's not overdo it. So let's come to the end of this class, or at least almost the end, the last rest. So come to lie on your back for a last time.
and see and see how it is you're breathing now against the floor with your back and into the room in front and on the sides and how you can press with your back and your pelvis and your legs and how you can feel the floor how the floor supports you is there for you And then the last thing that's left to do in this class is to really to come up to standing and see how how standing works now, how standing feels like now, our new possibilities, how we can use the discoveries we made on the floor in standing, just a different position. <laughs> We're still the same person, it's just a different position. So let's come up to standing. And stand for a moment and feel how you press your feet against the floor. So now it's not your chest you press against the floor. And actually what happens when you try to press the, in your imagination, your chest against the floor. There's no, there's no floor, of course, in front of you. There's the room, but you can have the same motion. And, and this, is what, this is what it means like to square your shoulder, to pull your shoulders backwards, it's to press against the floor with your upper chest, with your belly, maybe with your pelvis and see where is this balance on your legs, where is your room for breathing. So it's a very centered, very easy way to stand up straight. To stand upright easily being able to breathe fully. So this is power to be at ease and upright. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I enjoyed teaching it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Baby.